When it comes to project schedule management, we start to see a delineation of responsibilities between the project management team. For example, a line producer, according to the Producers Guild of America, is the single individual who has the primary responsibility for the logistics of a production, from pre-production through completion of production, and all department heads report to that line producer. It is important to note that the line producer, as the description indicates, begins at the very beginning of pre-production, sometimes even prior to pre-production, to draft budgets and schedules, and then will stay on the project until the very end of post-production and final wrap and deliverables. However, a first AD, which stands for first assistant director, is responsible for all on-set activities during the production process. According to the Directors Guild of America, assistant directors are responsible for the assembly of all elements needed for filming and for the daily op operations of the shooting set. Their objective is to provide the director with everything he or she needs to put his or her vision on film. Their duties are supervisory. And while it is important to note that the first assistant director is someone who may uh, be brought on during the pre-production process, their main function is to make sure that the set runs smoothly. They are not an assistant to the director, they are an assistant director. And that distinguishing factor is very, very important because they are not an administrative assistant, they are managing the operations of a working set. And this includes managing union and guild paperwork, managing uh, the uh, uh, schedule and assembly of that schedule, making sure that the production stays on schedule, both on an individual day-to-day -day basis and an overall basis. Uh, they also work to attend to the cast, direct extras, oversee the crew as each shot is prepared, etc. Now, moving on to the actual format of what a film and TV schedule looks like. Traditionally, a film production board is created, aka a strip board, where you would use paper or cardboard strips, each strip to identify an individual scene. And this strip board chart would have the color-coded scripts that could be rearranged as the production needs uh, required of it. Um, these strips could be reordered by the assistant director or the line producer. Uh, to become the shooting schedule for that week or for that day. Uh, this format has been around for honestly so long that I honestly couldn't find any reference to when it was first used, but I suspect it dates back to the 1980s when color printing started being commonly accessible. But there is the possibility that the stripboard format goes back to the silent movie days of the 1920s. And it's important to note that the software is very different from a traditional project plan in Microsoft Project. While there are some software companies that specialize in stripboard software, this software does not incorporate things like project tolerance, deviation, critical path, simply because those concepts are not widely considered in film production planning.